Hello, YouTubeites! This is Greg Bonov Lbanov, the lead designer and initial programmer of Pollution, the popular iTunes and Android app published by YoYo Games. I'm here to share some tips, tricks, and hidden techniques in this game to improve your high score. So, um, before anything, um, I'm going to go over really briefly about each of the types of shots because uh, many people are might be a little bit confused about what some of them do. So, there's the purple shot, and that's the regular typical one, doesn't do anything special at all. There's the blue shot, that one splits into three pieces whenever it's shot. <laughs> uh, there's the red shot, that one explodes when it hits something, and damages other nearby pieces within a short area. The green shot is generally considered to be the best shot, and uh, it slices through parts of the enemy, so you can use it to hit self-destruct buttons that are usually blocked by armor. The black shot is generally considered to be the worst shot, but it still has some good uses. Uh, it's especially heavy, so it doesn't go very far, and it does extra damage, so it can be used to hit particularly tough sections of enemy armor, if necessary. Uh, the last shot is the yellow shot, and that one's the hardest to find, and also kind of the weirdest. It's actually a homing shot, so you'll see here when you're pulling back to aim, um, enemies will glow yellow, and that means that when you release, that's the part the shot will chase after. Alternatively, you can just tap the screen, and the yellow shot will fly forward and accelerate towards the nearest enemy part. So this can be pretty useful. However, you're going to be careful uh, if the enemy does any sharp turns or moves quickly um, immediately after you shoot, the shot can uh, miss. Now, with all of these shots in mind, I'm going to talk about some more specific techniques to use in the game. For example, uh, something I call shot picking is probably the most useful technique um, if you're trying to get a high score. Basically, uh, when an enemy drops debris, the very first one you catch determines your next type of shot. Any debris you catch after that only adds to your score. So it's important to look at the cloud of debris that drops from a killed enemy and pick out what color shot you want to pick up. Green is always the best one to go for, but sometimes there's other ones. You can see in this clip here how there's a whole mess of black shots, but right in the middle there, there's that exploding shot, and with some dexterous movement you can kind of slide in there and pick that up. Uh, another technique I like to call the drop shot. A lot of enemies like to get really in your face, and they'll go towards the bottom of the screen, and you'll notice that when you're playing the game, there's no way to actually physically aim your shots downwards, so if an enemy's below you, it seems to be a blind spot. However, if you're a little bit clever, you can go above the enemy and then lightly tap the screen to move out of the way, and you'll drop the shot straight down and hit them. Just be sure to move, place yourself under them so that after the shot hits, you can pick up whatever debris comes out, or you can catch the shot if it misses. Um, sort of in the same vein, you might have noticed that in the awards section, there's a lot of achievements that are obtained by hitting enemy weak spots from above. Uh, now, what that means isn't literally that your slingshot is physically above the enemy. All that means is that the shot has to hit them um, while falling downward. So you can see here that if you simply line up a shot and let it fall onto the weak spot instead of shooting upwards at it, you'll get the achievement. Pretty nice. Now, here's a, a certain technique which uh, I actually took out in my original version of the game. But when Yo-Yo Games processed this and published it, uh, they decided to add this feature back in. I'm not actually sure if it was uh, perhaps a mistake, but more likely um, it's something they kept in as a technique. Uh, many shots, if you uh, shoot and then miss, you can position yourself to catch the shot you just um, slung so that you don't lose your combo. However, in the case of the slice shot, it can go through enemies and not disappear. So you can hit an enemy then catch your shot and continue to reuse it without losing your combo. Uh, now, it's pretty tricky, as you can see here, it's not always easy to aim, and the slicing shot is very light, so it can very easily fly off the top of the screen, which will make it disappear forever. So, uh, this isn't exactly an entirely useful technique, but it's something to keep in mind, and if you master it, it might be something cool to show off to your pals. Um, my last couple tips have to do with this uh, laser enemy, which many consider to be um, one of the most challenging enemies in the game, and he's encountered pretty early on in the first level. So 
Uh, you might have noticed this from the uh, achievement section, but there's an achievement you can get for hitting one of his laser guns. Now at first it might seem pretty impossible, but with practice you can actually do it consistently. Um, and it's pretty useful because once you've killed off one of his laser guns, this enemy becomes much, much weaker. In addition to that, uh, the laser guns actually give you slicing shots if you break them, so if you get one of those, you can slice shot right to the weak spot, making it really, really easy. If you have trouble aiming, or you want to kill him even faster, there's a slightly easier way to do this. Uh, now, you, to do this, you'll have to identify him before he fully drops down on the screen, because as the laser enemy comes down from the top of the screen, his lasers aren't active, so if you see him coming down, you can slide to the left or right before his lasers start firing. And then from the outside, it's a pretty simple matter to hit his laser cannon. Just make sure that you have a shot before you do this, because if you don't, you'll be trapped and your, his lasers will definitely kill you without a hitch. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, please share them in the comments. Um, I'd be really curious to see if anybody's come up with something uh, exciting and worth trying. And if there's a certain section of the game which you have trouble with and you want to see some tips and tricks on, you can let me know about that too, and I'll probably get back to you in some form or another. And that about wraps it up. So, uh, good luck killing on them crazy pollution pirates.